Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is I, Bean Turtle, and today I'm going to do uh, the Conflux Legend Lost Sector. Today we've got Barrier Champions and Unstoppable Champions, plus 50% Solar Burn damage and Void Shields, and the modifier Scorched Earth that makes enemies gr throw grenade grenades all the time. So normally when you have Barrier Unstoppable and Cabal stuff, I would be running a uh, loadout akin to uh, Arbalist, uh, this vouchsafe to deal with the Void Shields, and uh, has in Vengeance because of the 50% solar damage, but um, I found that it was actually really slow to run it this way, and I got kind of frustrated because I was thinking it's such an easy lost sector. It's literally a box, so uh, I decided to run this uh, close range loadout. Today I'm using um, a blinding grenade launcher ignition code. Um, this is just one I picked up several seasons back, uh, Season of the Splicer, but it's no longer in the game anymore. If you don't happen to have an ignition code with blinding on it, um, there's uh, lingering dread that you can get. Uh, pardon our dust in the connect slot, which you can get from the uh, Dares of Eternity, etc. There, are, uh, so there are some options. If you don't know what blinding grenades do, uh, if you fire them in the area around uh, red bars and non-bosses, so uh, not champions, not bosses, unfortunately, but uh, around normal enemies, it, it will uh, blind them, and they'll walk around confused, like holding their hand, their arm over their hands, and they, they won't shoot at you, um, which allows them, which allows uh, you to take a break or like heal or something. That's what that's what makes these so good. Also, to insta stun the unstoppables, which makes life really easy. I'm running my Enigma. Uh, also, it's void. It allows me to uh, one shot the shields that the Incendiors have, and it's a really good melee weapon because it does more damage than just smacking things. So to deal with barriers today, I am using the Lament, which uh, is a, essentially a chainsaw sword. Uh, when you hold, uh, I think it's the melee button on mouse and on controller, it is by default left trigger. Um, you uh, go into this like chainsaw mode. So when you use a sword normally, um, you just get like these normal like swipes, right? I don't have much ammo. Uh, but if you're holding the button that it says like the melee button or um, the left trigger, you get this weird little chainsaw thing and it's really cool looking in my mind and then you do more damage. And uh, you can do a little combo that's uh, much better for energy than um, the sword energy normally is. So this this mode does like way more damage and gives you access to anti-barrier rounds. I put in quotes rounds, it's not really rounds, it's a sword. But <laughs> uh, it allows you to pierce barrier shields when you're doing this. So um, this is what I'm using. It's really effective. The way that this uh, becomes really chainy is a combination of things. So I've got an, on my bond the Classy Restoration mod. When uh, activating my Solar Class ability, it gives me Restoration. Uh, so funny thing I did notice in one of my Lost Sector runs uh, recently, if you get knocked out of placing out of range of placing your rift uh, but you're still in the animation the classy restoration starts the second it quote unquote starts the the animation to take your rift but if your rift isn't taken you still get the buff so if you can time that right i, I wouldn't recommend i wouldn't like recommend like working on that but if you can get the timing right you could get a free a free uh restoration proc um but uh, you get restoration from classy restoration by putting down your rift, or I guess dodging. And I would I would think this would be really good on hunter as well. Um, I'm running uh, with uh, the restoration. I'm running empowering rift, um, but I'm running ember of empyrean, solar ability, or weapon final blows. Uh, so thus lament kills extended duration of restoration, and then I have ember of solace, which means that radiant restoration uh, goes up to 12 seconds. So that allows me to uh, be chaining uh, sword kills all the way across the room, and I get a long, large period of time to continue that constant health regen. I'm also running Ember of Torches to gain Radiant once I get a melee hit with a powered melee ability. And uh, Ember of Combustion, if I ever do use my so super, solar supers do end up exploding. And so I I've been using uh, Dawn Blade for fun. Uh, with that, I'm using Touch of Flame. Fusion Grenades explode twice and do more damage. And then I'm actually I'm running Icarus Dash for once because I noticed that uh, Heat Rises hasn't been doing much for me recently, uh, which just allows me to, to do um, some Icarus Dashing and uh, get away from uh, some of the more annoying abilities colossi have and such so on my helmet i have ashes to assets which uh you gain better bonus super energy on grenade kills bountiful wells which allows me to spawn more elemental wells when i have a elemental well spawning mod i have two elemental ordinances one on my gloves one on my chest piece and so that means that i spawn three elemental wells when i get a grenade kill on my boots i'm running seeking wells which means that uh, any wells i create track towards me and so the ability energy comes to me instead of me having to go out and seek it out and then the last mod that i have that i haven't talked about um, is revitalizing blast stunning a champion causes it to explode and gives you a small amount of health so uh, this is really nice because every time you stun a barrier champion 
Uh, usually by the time you've cut it up with your um, with your lament, uh, you will have done enough damage to where uh, Revitalizing Blast will insta-kill it. And with the Unstoppable Champions, when you stun it with your Glaive, the explosion usually does enough damage to make uh, Lament kill it in two or three swings of the Chainsaw Mode. All right, with that, I'm going to show you the uh, 1 minute 45 second run I did last minute thing before you start farming. Be sure to put on a Ghost Shell mod because it usually uh, helps you farm exotics into the stat that you want. Good luck with your farming, and here you go. So as I said, this room is literally a box, So, uh, but the first thing I end up doing is just get rid of these ads right here. There's no like, stuff you can really do about it. And then stun the unstoppable. Um, here I threw a grenade, uh, but I usually just kill him with a chainsaw. I ran right up next to him, next to the uh, uh, barrier, and uh, placed my rift to gain restoration, and I sliced him up. Um, so from there, um, try to keep your restoration buff, buff up if you can. Um, I still have it at this point in this run I did. Um, every Lament kill will give you more uh, restoration, or Grenade kills will give you uh, more restoration. Um, so it's really easy, you have plenty of ammo, uh, there's not that many enemies. Uh, but all you have to do at this point is to wipe out adds until it says another champion has appeared. Then you come up to the top of the room, this is where the boss will spawn by the way, he's just not out yet. Um, and there's a barrier there. Uh, don't let him do your missile thing, his missile thing, if you can, because the missile actually takes away your uh, restoration, as I said earlier, um, and that can be really annoying. Um, but now that you've taken him out, keep stabbing stuff until another champion comes in. Now the boss is here, see right in front of you. Um, so I stun him uh, mid slice, and getting hit there when the boss hit me take, takes away my restoration. So try not to let him do that again, and now focus on the boss. Um, but uh, if you can keep your restoration, like an enemy comes out every once in a while and uh, says hi, just smack him in the face and you'll keep your abilities. There you go. Uh, boss is down, that's all you have to do. I was using my blinding nades to get everyone to leave me alone. And then uh, you open the chest, and I got a Prometheum Spur because Bungie hates me. Uh, <laughs> so uh, if you do this on the day that it is uh, um, fresh, then you will get uh, legs. Um, if you do this in the future, of course, the drop will be different. Um, you can use uh, stuff like Today and Destiny and all that stuff uh, to figure out what it is. Well, everyone, if, thank you very much for watching. If it helped you out, uh, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe as it really helps out my channel. And as I uh, slowly move my way towards monetization, um, I am, you know, uh, I've, got, I've got some time to go before I get there. But um, it really helps me out if you uh, wish to join me on that journey. Um, and uh, yeah, be sure to tell me in the comments if you want uh, like a specific uh, character, or you need help with something, uh, or you want to just see some like completely random uh, crazy build um, done for a Lost Sector. I'll do it because I actually really enjoy running these. It's like little, I like little dungeons. It's kind of fun. And so, and so with that, thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.